R.1 COVID variant in the U.S. with two unknown mutations. COVID-19 variants are a wedge between people and herd immunity. Now, another variant is clapping and the U.S. CDC spotted it in Kentucky. While it is not a rival of the Delta, it has caused an outbreak in a skilled nursing facility. So what do experts know about this new variant? Keep watching to find out. But before we continue, please like this video if you find this informative and subscribe to our channel for more interesting and informative content. Don't forget to click the bell icon too to get the latest updates. On April 30, the US CDC reported a variant called R.1. The agency noted it having several mutations of importance, though not considered as a variant of concern or interest at present. Initial studies about this R.1 showed its E484K mutation, the same thing found in beta and gamma variants. If you're not aware, that mutation usually refers to higher transmission rates. Whether the rate is better than Delta or others remains to be seen. In that same report, the agency confirmed that R.1 was identified in a Kentucky SNF, where an outbreak began. Unvaccinated healthcare personnel and residents had 4.1 and 3 times the risk of infection than vaccinated residents and HCP. Yet vaccines seemed to work as the protection against symptomatic illness was 86.5% for residents and 87.1% for HCP. Newsweek, however, reported that the variant has infected over 10,500 people worldwide and is now in 47 states. Among U.S. states, Maryland had the highest cases of 399 since it was first detected in the country. If you compare that to Delta, R.1 only takes 0.5% of cases in the U.S. But, but former Harvard Medical School professor William A. Hazelton offered caution. The mutations in R.1 can help it spread to people quickly, just like most variants. Also, other mutations in the variant have the potential to generate resistance to antibodies. One of these is the W152L mutation believed to reduce the effectiveness of antibodies, as per CDC. What may be scary is the unknown in C241U and SP12P323L mutations. Experts have no idea what exactly these two do. They can tell right now if these mutations would assist the virus transmission or severe disease. What's your take about this R.1 variant? What do you think experts should do to fight it? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Till our next video, thanks for watching.